Hey Fuerte friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Trisha Fuerte and this is Fuerte Body. Um, this is our 10th Fuerte Body break and we're at 1037 Fuerte friends. Hi, thank you. Um, especially if you watch these Fuerte Body breaks, uh, I need to get better at doing a little intro at the top of every Fuerte Body break, but where to body breaks you see it in the title they are daily mental health check-ins they are a moment for me to check in with my body and remind you to check in with your body um and we do daily affirmations every for to body break so today's thursday november 2nd at 10 58 p.m today's affirmation is um, and this is not the first time you've seen me in a comfy. I should really be sponsored. <laughs> this is my this week's emotional support um, inside clean sweater. You know, like the, that clean sweater that you only wear at home when you're clean. So it's good uh, and you don't have to put it in a wash for a while. Yeah, that's this one this week. Okay, this one says... I have made a life for myself in New York City where I am able to financially sustain myself, do what I love, and help my communities. That's such a that's such a Trisha thing to say. <laughs> um Yeah, I feel like I really need that. Reminds me of both how far I've come and um you know that I'm reminder that I'm gonna be all right, and then also my purpose. You know, do what I love out here, some art and uh, advocating and helping my communities and telling our stories and protecting them and protecting us while we do. Uh, that's me. <laughs> okay. Also, uh, what I wanted to do, I'm so thankful. Um, a birth worker, a poet, an artist um, by the name of Rise. Um, the Instagram, their Instagram is righteous underscore roots, and I will link it in the description below. And I really loved this post that they put up uh, called "Tending to Our Nervous Systems." during immense and unyielding grief for Palestine, Sudan, Panama, Congo, Haiti, the global south, and all oppressed peoples who are tired and showing the fuck up. I saw this and um, needed every word on this post. Uh, and it was so helpful. And <clears throat> I'm so glad I was able to ask Rise if I could read it aloud during my mental health check-ins on my YouTube channel and they said yes so thank you Rise thank you Narissa uh, their caption reads it's impossible to not be affected when you give a fuck this is not a post to make that go away it's an offering of tools to support you as you are feeling overwhelmed to support you growing into your capacity and your role slash roles while preventing burnout, dissociation, apathy, etc. And that may still happen. Know that if you feel raggedy, that this is a normal response to trauma, witnessing and experiencing. The only people that feel good about oppression are those enacting and benefiting from it. I hope these help. Uh, and they really did. So thanks again, Rice. And I'll also link their website below. Uh, and if you like it, please send uh, Narissa a tip. Okay, slide one. Pour into slash nourish yourself. And by that, I mean don't neglect yourself. Identify your basic needs for yourself and to be able to show up for community. What foods make you feel good? How much water do you need a day to not get a headache? What are your responsibilities? What do you need to get them done? How much sleep do you need? K 
can you function if you don't shower at night? Slide two, be intentional. Urgency does not negate intentionality. And if anything, we need it more when shit's urgent. If you have the privilege to choose how to engage, then use that privilege and choose wisely. If you find yourself overwhelmed, sort the categories of information and pick a focus slash focuses. Examples, people on the ground, solidarity, actions and boycotts, verifying and compiling resources slash claims, education, holding space, and documenting. Some questions I ask myself when overwhelmed are, what are the daily asks of the people most impacted? What can I do every day? What is the end goal of the people most impacted? What actions are immediate and what are essential for long-term liberation? Slide three, naming. Acknowledge your feelings, anger, sadness, hopelessness, annoyance, disappointment, disgust, devastation, all that there are and aren't yet words for. Write them down, speak them aloud, hang out with them so you can move through them and so they can move out of your body. Stuck emotions can make you sick just like a cold can. What's happening? A genocide, occupation, Islamophobia, anti-blackness, displacement, gaslighting, greed. If people want to talk to you, then they have to deal with being specific. Naming is power. Naming frees us. Next slide. Hold your people close. Literally hold them. Don't forget your friends. Our interpersonal relationships are so, so, so important and we can't forget or neglect them during multiple global movements. We need to not just acknowledge our interconnectedness, but act on it. Text, hug, send memes, cry, sway to the side, do a power hour together, rage together. All these are ways to co-regulate and affirmations. We can't experience this and act in isolation. <clears throat> Rituals and altars. Rituals center you when everything around you is out of your control. They, he they help you have spiritual space to exist or just a practice you can count on. It can keep you grounded when urgent news and calls to action pop up. Altars. Altars are so personal and sacred and provide a space you can visit to remind you of who you love your values, who you're fighting for, who you're resting for, and why. Uh, like, I, I have a lot of crystals. I have cards from people I love that say beautiful things. Uh, Chang just got me Marcella Shell. Uh, I also have a little, little girl. She's a little good luck charms that I got in Singapore. Um, my friend Nicole, she has this little this little vegetable root and it says like I'm rooting for you and my friend Ray Ray gave me this rainforest cafe mug so uh, they're all well my space is pretty small but I'll, I'm thinking of putting putting them all near each other uh, to have a grounding space like that <clears throat> Breathe slash move in whatever way you want. Start slow. Suggestions. One inhale, squeeze your fingers and toes together. Exhale. Release. Inhale, shrug your shoulders all the way up to your ears. Exhale. Squeeze them down your back. Inhale, crawl your fingers to the sky. Exhale, rain them back down and repeat that two times a day. Stretch in bed with the bed before fully getting out. Tapping, especially when panicking, tap on your chest with two or more fingers like a heartbeat. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two until you feel better. Note, after doing this for some time, I learned it's part of EFT therapy. Other examples, guided meditation, let your body shake, dance, gentle body scan, self-massage, take a roll slash walk. 
Keep your schedule. It may seem fruitless to do everyday things right now, but we need to meet our basic needs in order to fight. We need to be able to be strategic, and we can't do that being all haphazard about our responsibility. Having a routine to fall back on, like when to eat, hydrate, stretch, etc., can be a rel- reliable and steady bomb for us as we are consistently dysregulated. Setting a timer for a daily resistance actions like calling and emailing your reps and taking screen breaks can actually build our capacity so we don't get exhausted and quick and so we don't get exhausted quick and burn out. I think that's why doing these and then also now my 15 minute um Pilates workout with Pilates Body Raven uh has have have been helping me i hope uh, i hope you have something like that too next slide says engage with the earth inside talk to and care for your plant friends cook some plant friends cleanse your space uh rise loves lavender uh parentheses and important not sage or palo santo if you're not indigenous Make ginger and honey tea, boil lemon, ginger, and cinnamon sticks, smell peppermint oil. You can dab it on a cotton ball and put it next to your bed. Run your hands under warm or cool water, especially if you use your hands often. Outside, visit the water near you if you're, if you're lucky enough to be by water. Oh, I love water. I love to swim. Uh, sit in the grass. Ask a tree a question. Look at the sky. Get up to watch the sunrise or plant something. Visualization. Vis- visualize the most liberated world possible. Who's there? What does it smell like? What are the sounds? Has the land healed? Are your people there? Are you all together? Is there laughter, dancing, storytelling? What grows there? Are there elders? Take that image with you everywhere. Also, I'd be remiss if I didn't add to this last one. Bearing witness. I want to name how essential it is for us, especially those of us who are black and brown and disabled, to bear witness to the fullness of people we are fighting for. Their joy, their songs, their family photos, their stories, their everyday lives, not just their suffering. This affirms their wholeness and gives the full and accurate scale of what is lost during an act of genocide. Thank you again to Rise. And once again, I will link their Instagram, this actual, this direct Instagram post uh, to their Instagram. That's on their Instagram at righteous underscore roots. And uh, thank you so much. I hope there was something in there that was helpful for you because everything in there was very helpful for me. I will see you all tomorrow. All my love, always and always. I'm Trisha Fuerte and this is Fuerte Body.